Organized labor has reiterated its displeasure about the current economic situation in Nigeria, rising at a special meeting of leadership of an affiliate union of Nigeria Labor Congress in Lagos State. It was declared that due to what people of the country are going through presently economically, the planned protest is not negotiable and the wish the government can bend and do something to cushion the sufferings of the people. Galaxy News correspondent Lebby Joseph has more. The, the organized labor have clarified the issue of strike or protest, which is slated for 2nd of August. In, in the public space, most people believe it's going to be strike. But now, right now, the organized labor have made it clear that it's going to be a peaceful protest where they are expecting everybody to come out and join the protest. Against the backdrop that the Nigerian Labour Congress is fighting for salary increment and palliative for workers, Labour leaders have shown that the agitation this time is about the entire citizens of this country whose income can no longer afford their basic needs of life. This pain is unbearable. We have a situation where workers can't go to work five times a day, I mean a week. We have a situation where business people can't get to their business, petty business people, informal workers, can't get to their location two times, three times in a week. We have a situation where manufacturers are crying, and where manufacturers cry, workers weep. And we don't want to die. We want to live, we want to survive. That is why we, we all, Emmas mobilize our members to come out on this peaceful protest that is commencing on August 2nd. The union leaders stated it clearly that workers are not against subsidy removal but frowned emphatically how the cessation of National Assembly and appropriating billions of naira as palliatives for members, the executives and the judiciary. Because it is only when industries are running that workers will receive their wages and earn their income. So these issues are there and they are glaring for all to see. But as you speak, there is no clear court template to address these challenges confronting Nigerian workers and the Nigerian people. And so it is very, very important that we further put pressure on government to realize and understand the pain that the Nigerian people are going through. And so we agreed that on Wednesday, across the 36 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory in Abuja, there shall be a, nation, a nationwide protest. It's going to be a peaceful one, but we are going to articulate all the challenges confronting workers and the need for government to address them decisively. That is why this protest is being organized. We made every arrangement. We work with all our civil society partners and every other concerned Nigeria because we are Nigerians. And so that's why the MSC is also joining and leading this uh, protest. Comrades, people will ask the question what about dialogue? Dialogue has to sign. You need the union, you need the government. Or if it is in the workplace, you need the employer, you need the union. In this place, the present situation call for much attention from we labor, working masses, and of course the poor people of this country. When you, when you look at the issues related to where we are now, one, the horrendous and tolerance of attack to the working masses within the short period of the life of this government. You will agree with me that consciously, the ruling elites are represented by the present government want to liquidate the working masses. They kicked vigorously against the government policies, especially that of increase of tuition fees, VAT, and frowned at the indifference of government to the plight of Nigerians after the removal of oil subsidy. We want the government to be proactive. We want the government to be very sensitive 
Nigerians are hungry, Nigerians are angry, the times are hard, things are very difficult, and everybody is feeling the pain. If all of us are in it together, government is telling us to be weary, to be, be, be patient. If you want us to be patient, then the National Assembly, they should not appropriate any money to themselves. Let all of us be in, in it together. I mean, the disruption of academic calendar in our campuses. And at the moment, I can assure you that if government does not take steps to begin to implement signed agreement with staff unions, we are going to have on our hands once again, in the, over the next few months, possibly strikes in the economic sector. We do not want this. So we are demanding that government should meet demands with ASU, with SANU, and other staff unions. Last but not the... The protest is expected to commence on Wednesday, 2nd of August, in the morning, and every concerned citizens are employed to enjoin the protest, which the promise shall be peaceful.